What's going on, everybody? Welcome into the Who Pogs video mailbag. Curtis Wilkerson here with Inside Arkansas on the Pot at the Palace. Uh, what is this thing? Well, you asked me an Arkansas basketball related question, and I answer it. We've been doing one of these every single day, and I've just had some awesome, awesome questions that have come through. Uh, and this one might be the best one yet. It, it, it's almost a stumper for me. I got to admit, uh, it comes from Kiss Off the Glass. He says, To my knowledge, Cal has five players on the roster who he previously coached their father or their brother. Any guys in the next few classes with family ties? That's a that's a great question, honestly, because uh, the one thing or not the one thing, but something that stands out about Coach Cal uh, is the relationships that he builds with his players and they're long lasting. You see it all the time. Uh, you know, not just the guys who have been drafted, you know, under Cal, but really anybody who's played for him. He uh he keeps up with them after they leave uh, those relationships, those bonds, they're strong, they last and it can pay dividends when you get into uh, later times in life where these guys uh, might have siblings who are hitting the, the college age, or they might have sons uh, who become prospects and, and then cows, you know, he's right there in the mix. Um, and to your point with the Razorback players who fall under that category, I mean, you think about, uh, DJ Wagner, you know, obviously his his father played for Cal um, and, and Kareem Watkins, the uh, walk on from Kentucky, who was there with him. Uh, DJ's dad is is Kareem's stepfather. So you've got that going. Um, a dude, the arrow's dad played for Cal. Uh, Billy Richmond's played for Cal. Um, you know, Kevin Knox, Carter's brother, played for Cal. Uh, who am I missing? Aiden Kelly, even a, another uh, scholarship addition kind of at the back end of the roster there. Uh, his dad is Antonio Burks, who played for Cal at Memphis. So the list really does kind of go on and on and on. Um, I did some research on this the best that I could. Now, here's the deal. I don't I don't know every player um, off the top of my head that played for Cal at UMass or Memphis. Um, I don't know that the Kentucky guys are really of age yet to have sons that are college age, uh, maybe brothers or something like that. So I can only go off the notable names that I remember um, and, and two off the top in terms of guys that they're targeting right now in 2025 and 2026, I don't think I see anyone that fits that category, but here's what I did for you. Um, I reached out to a couple national recruiting experts on the basketball front uh, who would know about this better than me guys who've been doing this for a couple decades, uh, who've dug into the weeds of, you know, the next three or four classes and they know, Oh, that's, so-and-so's little brother who played at Kentucky 10 years ago, or that's so-and-so's son who played for Cal at Memphis, uh, things that I wouldn't necessarily know off the top. And if I get some good information that comes back from that, I'm going to do an episode about it, a full episode on the pot at the palace and give that to you. Uh, but it, 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 it does give me the opportunity to talk about a couple interesting things because it's making me feel old to take a look at, you know, some of these guys who are coming up through these upcoming recruiting classes uh, who I watched their dads play growing up. Right. And and it's just, it's kind of crazy, man. Um, in 2025, I, I, you know, like not necessarily any of Cal's former players, but familiar names, right? Like the Boozer twins, for example, obviously they went to Duke. Um, but it, it's crazy, man. I used to watch Carlos play uh, growing up. Loved, loved him when he was a bull, especially, uh, man, for both of his kids to be ready to, to go to college now, it's kind of crazy. Uh, Jermaine O'Neal Jr., really? I feel like Jermaine O'Neal was playing a, a couple years ago. Uh, Carmelo Anthony was, and, and then you got Kyan Anthony uh, was the guy. I wonder if I wonder if Muss and USC wind up getting him. We'll see. Uh, but that's kind of crazy. Um, of the guys that they're targeting right now, you know, I think about Malik Thomas, Caleb Wilson, uh, Chris Sinek, all those different guys. I, I don't. I just. I don't know if there are connections there. There might be, uh, but off the top, I'm, I'm not sure about that. Uh, thinking about, you know, forward to 2026, uh, there's some Arkansas legacy there with, with JJ Andrews, obviously Sean Andrews son. He's a five star. I'm, I'm sure Arkansas is going to be all over him in terms of trying to get that one there. So not a cow connection, but an Arkansas connection. Uh, but there's still these names that are popping up in 2026 that are crazy. Um, Arkansas offered Taj Ariza. Remember Trevor Ariza, don't you? Now he played it at UCLA, obviously. Uh, that's crazy. He was on some of those real fun Lakers teams with uh, with Kobe Bryant. Uh, and so like he, he's got a kid who's getting ready to go to. I mean, what are we doing here? It's nuts. Um, who else? Who else? Who else? Uh, Elijah Arenas, a top five prospect in the 2026, uh, 2026 class. That's uh, Gilbert Arenas' kid, Agent Zero's kid. Uh, it's it's kind of nuts to think about. Um, 
so I, I, I wish that I had a, a better full answer for you. Um, off the top, the research I did last night didn't necessarily see anything in, in the next class or two, uh, but that doesn't mean there's not a guy who could emerge and pop and we find out, oh, he's, uh, yeah, his, his, his dad, his brother, whatever, who used to play for Cal. You got a connection there. Um, but but the, the La Familia stuff runs deep, doesn't it? I mean, it even goes beyond just, uh, you know, brothers and uh, dads, man. It could be nephews. It could be uh, former coaches because he's got so many guys who've, who've worked for him in the past. Um, and it's it's word of mouth, too. And, and so we talk about some of these dudes like you know, like Gilbert Arenas' kid or, or Trevor Reese's kid or whatever. Uh, chances are, uh, you know, those guys might have played college somewhere else, but it, it's not a given that their coach in college – uh, is still doing this. Cal's been doing this for a long time, and I guarantee you that those guys played in their NBA careers for a long time with dudes who did play for Cal. Um, and so that word of mouth spreads like, hey, trying to figure out where to send my kid to college. Hey, you know what? I had a great experience with Cal, and our relationship is still strong today as it ever was. Uh, and that stuff matters to guys. And uh, there's no doubt about it. Everyone knows that, that Cal can get you to the league. So that word of mouth and that kind of stuff really spreads, and it helps you on the recruiting trail for sure. So um, I wish that I had a, you know, a handful of names right there off the top. Like I said, I don't, I don't know every roster from uh, UMass and Memphis from back in the day, but I, I do know people who do. So I have reached out um, on behalf of, of your question there and hopefully we come up with some good nuggets. And like I said, if we get some good stuff, uh, we'll do a, we'll do a profile on it and give you a shout and do a, a full episode of the pot at the palace to talk about it. So um, appreciate the question. Uh, all in all, it's, it's, it's kind of wild. Um, I guess for me, you know, I'm not the same age as everybody, uh, but to see the guys that I grew up watching their sons, you know, kind of, uh, kind of progressing and getting to that point now, like the, the Bronny James thing was one deal, but, uh, it's, uh, it's going to be crazy to see, you know, an, an Anthony and arenas and an Ariza running around out there and an O'Neill jr. <laughs> so, uh, but that's, uh, that's where we're at, I guess. So appreciate the question as always. Um, and guys, make sure you keep flooding them in, uh, pin profile, uh, or pinned on my Twitter profile at Kurt Wilkerson underscore. Uh, you can throw your questions in there. If you have them, uh, these YouTube videos, make sure that you throw them in there too. Yeah. Uh, if you got a question, I'll go back through and find them. I go through and look at all the, uh, the comments. And if I see a question, I, I tag that thing. So I make sure I get to it down the road. We post one every morning at 8 AM. We're trying to carry it all the way to the start of the college basketball season. Make sure you're subscribed to our YouTube channel at inside Arkansas and follow along with our playlist, the hoop hogs video mailbag. Uh, that way, you know, when these things get uploaded every single day, but I'm going to get out of here for now because we got to turn around and do this again in the morning. It's been Curtis Wilkerson with Inside Arkansas at the Pot the Palace. We'll see you guys in the morning.